Hello all you Coaster Maniacs out there and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beginning of the Golden Birthday Series. So I'm here, Six Walks Over Texas, just a weekend before my 26th birthday. So as I said before, I am going to be celebrating my birthday a lot different this year by celebrating two celebrations. One being here in the DFW, and the second, which is next weekend, being in San Antonio. So, it's my golden birthday, like, I have to go all out somehow. So anyway, we are gonna go around the park and see what is going on. I know we suffered one ride closure, and we have a ride opening that many of y'all have already been aware of but a lot of y'all tell me in the comments to cover it I will cover it in this vlog here so anyway so with that being said it's a chilly start on this Saturday yeah it's a chilly start on this Saturday but really it's still gonna be a good day I'm finally gonna get the birthday visit what I deserve Last year, I was supposed to do my birthday celebration for my 25th birthday, but the snow and ice ruined it all. So, this is basically a redemption visit for my birthday. So, yeah, let's just hope it goes well. So, anyway, so, enough me lollygagging. So, with that being said, let's head on into the park. You can see some of the workers on Judge Roy Scream, and you can actually tell that there is still maintenance stuff going on right now. So, I'm not too sure how long this maintenance work on Judge Roy is going to go on for, but I'm really hoping it doesn't go on for so long. Okay, so now what I'm seeing right now is they are carrying wood. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like they are doing some track work. So yeah, Judge Roy Scream is getting a retrack. Not a fully retrack, but at some spots of the ride. So if you are wondering why that ride has been closed, that is why. And I think they have laid it down. Yeah, they laid it down. That's where I could see. They have laid it down. So I would expect Judge Wars Scream to come back sometime in March or April. But now you'll know why. It's closed. They're doing track work. That's all part of seasonal maintenance. Now you know. Alright, so the park is open. So they did a strange opening tactic. So that spot over there, you can't even set any further foot after that way. So you have some of the workers trying to not let you go past it. So I guess that's another way that they're doing it because the ticket area, how you try to try to get in there, it's just causing a lot of crowded issues and stuff like that. But to me, I think it's a lot better than a crowded space trying to get in there. But anyway, I see Mr. Peter Rabbit and little Donald Duck here. No, I am not. I'm being sarcastic, but I see Bucks and Daffy. Bucks and Daffy. Let's go see them. Here they are. Uh, well, no, Peter Rabbit and Donald Duck is over there. They all have fun. And here we are here at Aquaman Power Wave, and right here they're actually doing some theming work over here. Really, nothing has changed. Whatever this is or something like that it's some sort of structure that they're going to be putting in that area whatever that what spot is and also you can actually see they have signs up so 
there is a single rider line and you do get a flash pass line as well. So that's awesome. So sign seems to be the same. And then as you get on over to the test seat, they have actually installed the test seat here. That is awesome. The test seat has been installed. Then as you come over here, that is also very cool. They added in the A. That is awesome. Yeah. Love it. Love some good theming. Love it. Now, of course, later on today, I will be getting some test footage because a friend of mine told me that they're going to be doing some cycles on Aquaman Power Wave today. So, anyway, yeah, in case you don't know, I, yeah, I did not forget about the announcing of the date. So, Aquaman Power Wave opens March 11th. That is the start of spring break. And during the screen break celebration, which is Mini Freight Fest, that's why I explained it, you do get ERT on this ride. So, this is very exciting stuff. So, more to come on screen break in the coming future. Alright, I ran into some familiar people. Kim and Abby and Ian! What's up? Say out of the camera. Hello! So anyway, we just got done with our first ride of the day on Cattle Lake Barge. I am basically just going to be chilling with them throughout the rest of the day. I don't know why, but anyway. Oh yeah, great ride again. I'm probably going to have to start coming to this ride more anyway. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, this is just the beginning. This is the beginning for the festivities. Cannot wait for y'all to see all content coming from Fiesta, Texas and SeaWorld. So anyway, I was gonna go out to summer to eat, but I guess plans always have to change. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, on to the next ride. So we are one of the things that were actually removed, but of course, the basketball game has officially made it back into the terror section. So apparently they must have gotten a bit of a refurbishment or makeover and such. So with that being said, it's back. Here we are on Shockwave. We gotta get my back row riding, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty chilly overcast day today. Yeah. I'm not sure if the park is gonna close early due to the weather. I don't know. Let's just see how far we can go with this. Anyway, let's get up to the station, get ready to ride. Got my back row ride down on Shockwave. Great ride, as usual. So yeah, anyway, got a bit of sun coming out. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be spending the day with Kim and Abby today. So, hey, at least I got someone to be with today. So yeah, anyway. That's good. So anyway, we're gonna go do some stuff. I'll check in with y'all where I'm at. Just got done with Runaway Mountain. Hi. Hello, y'all. So, someone forgot to turn out a light in the ride. Yes, it's all it's in the yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. But it was all just in here. So, so yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go take a ride on Text Giant right now. So... Yeah, fun ride as usual. And we didn't have to wait, so that's good. So let's just see how the waiting is like. Uh, Texas Giant. Let's roll. There it is. The OG Texas Giant. Let's go get a ride. Alrighty, so we are up on the Texas Giant queue line, and they brought back the train. And that's because the train is under maintenance right now. So good to have it back on the tracks again. Look how clean that pex that window is. All the other windows usually are dirty. This one is so rarely cleaned up so well. So good. 
Alright, we are on the train right now, and you can actually get a closer look at how they do the water here on this locomotive here. And then as you come to your left, you can see some of the layout of the new Texas Giant. It looks really cool. Also, back row ride, Texas Giant never disappoints. And as we approach the runaway mine train, you can actually see there's some sort of structure in the making over there. I don't know what that could be. Maybe an extension to where the original one is at? It seemed pretty interesting. And I'll wait to see how well this goes on for. And as you can see here, Newman's is open. So. If y'all are wanting to go get some corn dogs here at this uh, specific location, there you go. It's back open again. Alrighty, so we are here at the other side of Aquaman Power Wave, and they are doing testing on the ride. And as you can see on this side, you can see that the turntable is moving. So. Maybe a matter of time, knowing when you can see the water is about to be going on in this little fountain here. Won't be long now until we see some test cycle, a test cycle. So, yeah, if I end up finding one, I will showcase to y'all once again there we go y'all we got aquaman going Woo! let's go oh yeah there we go march 11th y'all this is when the ride is officially opening Alright, that was fun with all the Aquaman testing. We got some photos back on the pathway here and just down there. So again, Aquaman opens March 11th. Y'all waited four years for this and I know I have. Cannot wait to finally ride this ride. But of course, I am going to be waiting it out until March 18th. And speaking of that day, guess who is going to screen break on that day? I am. So I will be out on the last day of screen break on March 18th. Yeah, I already got my hotel reserved and everything. I just got to know when the tickets are going to go on sale. I am still waiting on another vehicle to go up so anyway, so anyway other than that i am gonna go and go ride freeze and batman so i will check in y'all in a bit i'm just checking to see if there's in now okay i'll see you in a bit and also as we make our way into gotham city you can actually see they got a new game here yeah, a new game of basketball. And that is actually a pretty nice addition to Gotham City. Very cool. Yeah, and that just leads me to know, what are they going to do over here? Well, basically, as for my last vlog, I pretty much know they are improving the gangs midway of Gotham. So... And of course there is a sign about it so yeah anyway anyway so with that being said i'm gonna go ride freeze and then after that batman let's head it up Alrighty, so i'm over here at gotham city stage right now and correct me if i'm wrong 
it appears we got in some new lighting up on the front of the stage. Has it been there or has it been like this? Because I don't really remember them being those lights here. It's just, I don't know, but it appears they must have added in some more light features onto Gotham City. But if it's new, that's awesome. Fellow ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Harley Quinn Spin Saturday. A few days back, the ride was scheduled its total closure for its short five year existence. We have no idea how that ride caused most of it, for what I think caused terrible maintenance, became unreliable, and low ridership because of how the ride of the nature is like. We, I myself, will miss this ride because of how unique it is. Love it or hate it, we will miss you, Holly Quinn's Insanity. And you will or would not be forget. Farewell. Fare thee well, Holly Quinn's Alright, so since that freeze had a long wait, and half of the rides in Gotham are closed. I might as well just take my ride on I'll, my least favorite ride in the park in this area, Catwoman's Whip. <laughs> I'm not going to like it. Hey, Pat. So, anyway, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this ride is broken. I am saved from Pat. Thank you, Patrick, for saving me from this awful ride experience. <laughs> so anyway, so basically half of Gotham is pretty much broken. Pretty much. Catwoman's down, Riddler's down, Joker's down, Harley Quinn, pretty much gone for good. Mr. Freeze has a long wait. What about Batman? I'm gonna go to Batman now. Thank you. Let's go see how Batman is. Here's a little bit of an update for what they're doing over at this specific game. So it looks like they're actually redoing stuff for the Midway stuff. So yeah, yeah, basically they're just kind of redoing some of the stuff for Gotham City games, but otherwise, yeah. Anyway, so all the other rides except for Freeze, Batman, and Batwing are all open, but the only ones that are closed is everything else except the three. What has Gotham gotten itself into? Let's just hope I don't break Batman. And I am actually very thankful that I broke Catwoman. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Again, thank you, Patrick, for breaking the ride so for me. So anyway, let's go ride Batman. And then as you can see on the maintenance area, you can actually see that Batman the ride is in the middle of refurbishment, which is maintenance, seasonal maintenance. So one of the pieces for the sick train are just lying down on the side. So yeah, it's currently running one train right now, but it will be ready to go later on this spring. Alrighty, so I just got done with Riddler and I'm not sure if I've done a video on Thank you. So I'm not sure if I've done an update after whenever I got off of my ride on Batman. Batman was good. Yeah, I didn't have to wait at all for that ride, which is fantastic. So I don't know if I should try Freeze again. 
let's see what happens. Also, Aquaman is going. So yeah. Yeah, they're doing a lot of test cycles right now. And it is just about to come on over. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Woo! Aquaman! Let's go. All right. I'm going to go try freeze next. And I think it got shut down. I don't know. Well, we're just going to wait and see what happens. So, anyway, I'm going to go check the station. And if, well, the entrance, if it's closed off. But if it isn't, then I'll probably just come back in a little while. Or probably just come back and ride it tomorrow. So, anyway, let's see what we got going. Alrighty, so they just got freeze open again. So apparently they got the ride shut down because some person were actually in a restricted area by any means. So, and there's a line. I'm not sure how long the line is going to be like. I'm not too sure, but let's try that. Oh, it's not too bad. Last time I was here, it was all the way out here. But anyway, let's go ride. I finally got my freeze ride in. About time, really. My gosh. Yeah, that ride is always a good one. So, yeah, my boy Patrick is working the ride back in his own natural habitat in Freeze Land. So, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure where I'm going to be ending up at next. I might go take a ride on Skyscreamer. Thank you. Oh, so anyway, I might go take a ride on Skyscreamer. I'm not too sure, but I might. So anyway, let's go see how the line is for Skyscreamer, and I'll see if I can ride it. Now, as you can see here, y'all, there is no wait. And I'm sorry that the camera is not going to focus so well. So yeah, no wait. Let's get on this thing. All right, time for our ride on Pandemonium. Yeah, really, I'm just running out of rides to ride, and I and I still haven't even gotten to Titan yet. I'm I'm most likely gonna be heading my way over to Titan just whenever I get done with Pandy. So yeah, yeah. Really, not that much of a wait. It's just, the line starts just close to whenever you hit the stairwell. So, it shouldn't be too long until we ride it. All right, let's go. Okay, so update, pandemonium is down. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I really don't feel like doing Justice League. Well, I'm not, I don't know how the line is. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just go do Justice League while we're here. All right. Even though I just don't have the desire to do it, but it's just, it's just something. Oh, uh, let's just go right up. I'm the only one on the vehicle. As requested, I got it. <laughs> but for the record, I did pretty poor on that ride. Better than I should have. Oh well. Really nothing going on on Aquaman. But, hey, looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna go look at some shops. Here's something that I haven't even quite covered yet on any of my vlogs, but El Sombrero, it is scheduled to be getting a paint job later in the foreseeable future but my gosh i can actually see why it needs new paint it is hideous my gosh yeah it really does need some paint so those are one of the painting projects that is on six flags list so be prepared that ride will be closing 
pretty soon for a new paint job, but we'll reopen after that. Now I know I have explained this on the last vlog that I've done with all the Six Flags updates, but I just want to clarify this again. Casa Magnetica is returning back in the summer, just in case if one of y'all are not aware of it. Yeah, if any of y'all haven't been in there, I highly recommend you going in there in this summer. It's very good. It's a very good Cricket House attraction. Yeah, cannot wait to get back into it. I got the Titan done. Pretty good backseat ride. Pretty much just chilled. Didn't yell or scream or anything. I just chilled there like a villain. So anyway, I think I'm gonna go take another ride on Texas Giant. Since I had not seen a wait, I am gonna go get another ride in. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I got my ride in on Giant Back Row Red Train. I love that red train so much. Gives you good speed. And it was already about to get to the time where it was about to haul and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's a good ride. Good ride every time. Anyway, I'm gonna try and see if I can't find Kim and Abby somewhere. So anyway, I'll check in with y'all in a bit. some more my gosh Woo. And look how look how far it splashes onto this area here whoa <laughs> Here's another view for what I got for Aquaman. This is nuts. My gosh. There we go. And here it comes. Whoa, yeah. Let's go. It's nuts, man. <laughs> Woo! Insane, man. I really love this ride so much already. Okay, I might have gotten a little wet on Aquaman. There it goes. There it goes again. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait till this ride opens. This is gonna be amazing. So, I'm gonna go get a little thing from the gift shop and I'm gonna get out of here. All right, so I didn't find anything, so I'm on my way out. So, there's a new thing I'm about to do. So, I'm gonna be doing a combined vlog. So, this vlog that you that you're, that have just seen you're going to be watching part two tomorrow. So with that being said, here is me signing off for one quick cut. And I will be at the park tomorrow. And then one, two, three. Here is the next video. I'm back. Welcome to part two. Look who we have here. Josh and James are here. So anyway, welcome you again. To, with me. You know I'll yeah, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to part two, everybody. So I don't need to tell you the previously on because I'm pretty sure you must have seen everything. So we're ready to get our day started here on my second part of my birthday celebration. So that being said, let's go see what there is to see around here.
Well, basically not that much, but I pretty much already seen everything that what y'all need to see. But let's go see anyway. And our first, yeah, our first start of the day will be sombrero. We gotta go at the mothership of sombrero hats. Oh, and we see a very familiar face. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Like I said, I have to mark everything at least once. Exactly. So we just got done with El Sombrero. We're going to go do teacups because we're trying to mark everything off of log rides. So, anywho, my gosh, we're starting our days off with some spinning attractions. Here goes nothing. Teacups is next up. Alrighty y'all, so I got me a Texas Giant dog over at Bubba's. So, yeah. And I'm over here in the Texas area. Let's see good old tar picking up. Yeah, I'm gonna have lunch and yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. Alright, here we go on Texas Giant. We finished our food up. Now let's head up my favorite RMC here in North Texas. Until I changed my opinion over at Fiesta with Iron Rattler or Wonder Woman being my favorite. Let's go. Got front row right in on Giant Done. Don't really do it that often since it usually has a long wait. So I actually spotted something while we were, while the rag was almost done. I saw some of the freeze trains over by one of the maintenance buildings so the reason why i had to wait a long line is because one the other train the other set of trains were actually under maintenance so so i'm not too sure when the other side will be back but for right now they're only wanting one side but that's just all that i know of but anyway we are gonna go do the separate rail cars next. So let's roll. I got the separate rails done and I didn't do the accent this time. I just chilled in the back seat just listening to some good music. So anyway, down the bridge, you'll see the sign that says Titan. Thank you. So anyway, we're gonna head over to Titan and we're either gonna go for a front or back row. So anyway, we'll find out once we get over there. All right, so we're at a ride that I don't usually ride so much. This is Sidewinder, and I'm doing this for the log ride and put down. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Alrighty, so Side Wonder was a great ride. Now we're heading to this behemoth giant in Titan. Let's roll. Pick it up for any time for any reason. Awesome. Please do be keeping inside the track. Don't be throwing out your hands, arms, legs, feet, little baby brothers, sisters, boyfriends, girlfriends, exes, and a whole lot. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Over here to your left, you will see that big old rigging pile of matchsticks that happen to be the New Texas Giant. We have ridden the Mr. Beast coaster. It was a good ride. Nonetheless, whoa! And I think I saw a thing. So anyway, we're gonna go check a look at Aquaman testing. Yeah, my friend Josh. I've seen the ride cycle. We're gonna go check it out and get some more test footage. Let's do this. 
All right, so we just saw Mr. Aquaman up there testing, and yeah, we're just about to enter Gotham, and we're gonna be doing some rats in here. Our first stop, Mr. Freeze. This is the one thing I just didn't catch on yesterday's visit. So the cheese stick place, uh, like some sort of cheese bread or steak, or whatever stand. It's gone. I had no idea that was already gone already, but hey, it's not here anymore. I'll tell you that much. Alrighty, so we just got done with Mr. Freeze. It was broken down, but we waited because we are such good waiters and good patients. Hey, so anywho, we are gonna go take our rides in on Riddler, and uh, and other than that, yeah, I will check in in a bit. In a, I'll check it in a bit pretty soon. So we got done with dinner at Johnny Rockets, and now we are ready to take flight on the greatest relaxing swing ride in all the park. Texas Sky Screamer. <laughs> all right, I am full, all good in my tummy. Goody, 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 goody. Uh, anyway, right. yeah, I'm ready to get back on this ride once again. My favorite flat ride in the park. Let's go flying. Alrighty, so we just got done with Texas Skyscreamer and we are just about to walk into the France area of the park, head up Runaway Mountain, see if Liam is at his own ride and stop by and say hi to him. So, anyway, and why? Are the lights still up there? Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, the lights are still up on the trees. Come on, guys, take them down. Don't leave them up. All right. So we just got done with Runaway Mountain, and what a great dark ride coaster it is. Got to see our good friend Liam, and we are just about to be on our way to Shockwave because we haven't done it all day. Seriously, we gotta get back or right and look back on the loops again. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'll do it. So anyway, I'll, I'll go take my ride in on Shockwave and I'll talk to y'all soon. And we are here at Shockwave. Let's go take a ride in on this classic short scoff. Two rides in a row, back row, great ride. I only looked back on the loops one time, but the second time I just did the normal way fashion. So anyway, we only got like 30, 33 minutes left until the park is open. We're gonna head our way over to Gotham City and get a ride in on Batman the Ride before it is done for today. So anyway, let's go ahead and head on over there. All right, so we did a bit of a detour on Cattle Lake and we see going? a familiar face here. Ian, everybody. Huh? What's up? What's up? So where are you heading at? Cato. Oh, come on, seriously. 
We were just there. See ya. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, and everybody. So he is heading to the ride that we were just at. So anyway, we're gonna hit up uh, some last few rides up in Gotham, Batwing, and Batman the Ride, so we can try and hit 20 on Log Ride. So anyway, let's head our way over there and get our last rides of the night when we can. And we are here, Batwing. Here we go. Then, yeah, I've already covered everything. I already covered what they need to be covered over in here. But other than that, let's ride Batwing. Batwing is all done. Good ride. Again, don't really ride it too much that often. But anyway, let's go ride that. Yeah, not the blue one, but the yellow one. Let's go ride Batman. Alright, so we just got done with uh, two rides in on Mr. Freeze. And just in case if I haven't covered it yet, we did do... Hi. We did do our ride on Batman the Ride, just in case if I did even cover it. So anyway, that... Yeah, that'll do it for those last rides. So... Already, it's already about to become a ghost town all over these here places. So, anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get on out of the park, and then I'll wrap part one of my golden birthday series up in the car. So, I will see you all in a bit. All right, everybody, this is gonna do it for this two-day long visit here at Six Flags Over Texas. I had a fun weekend, had a great birthday visit here at this park. Again, as you can see, there's a lot going on around the park. Aquaman is almost about to open. Harley Quinn is apparently no more. And we managed to ride a lot of rides all weekend. But hey, we had a very good time. We had a cold, chilly Saturday and a warm, cloudy Sunday. So anyway, with that being said, I will be taking a break going to Six Flags Over Texas until March 18th through the 19th until we get to my first ever ride on Aquaman Power Wave and on the last day of Scream Break. Again, additional information will be announced on whenever the park decides to announce it so whenever that gets released i will make a separate video about that because whenever i'm at the park i would automatically talk about it but since i'm going to be taking a break until then i will be doing a short separate video about what will happen so anyway but this celebration is not over yet y'all stay tuned as we expand this celebration as we celebrate my 26th birthday, my actual birthday in San Antonio, as we visit Six Flags Fiesta, Texas for an American Coaster Enthusiast event, Fiesta Fest on the 25th, and finishing off my celebration at SeaWorld San Antonio on my birthday on the 26th. We thank you again for watching. Be sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and be sure you tap notifications to make sure you do not miss a video on my celebrations. Thank you again for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon. And you know what to do. Y'all keep coasting.